Good day to friends and viewers. Um, today I'm going to be touching upon a topic which is from the Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita means the Bhagavad is the is the God, uh, is, is signifies God, and Gita basically is a song. So the song of God basically that's what Bhagavad Gita means. So Gita is what we say in in English when we say um, Gita. It's written as Gita, but it's actually Gita. So the whole crux of Bhagavad Gita is about dharm. Dharm can be translated as um, right action, uh, even religion, the duties that we need to perform in this lifetime, uh, the right kind of duty, the right kind of deeds and actions that we need to perform to be able to take the soul, to be able to move the soul upwards in its journey. And uh, I'm going to be just sharing about just five simple tenets about what is the definition of dharm and how we can all uh, really practice it in our lives. And um, it, at the base of all of this, all the five tenets is basically Gita talks about compassion. And compassion here is for oneself as well as for others. So being able to understand one's own pain, be forgiving to one's own self, be compassionate towards one's own self. Uh, we know sometimes we can become very harsh and very, uh, very difficult on our own selves and that doesn't help really uh, in our own growth. So we have to forgive ourselves and, uh, you know, understand that we can make mistakes and have that self-compassion, even in positive psychology. This is a very big uh, theme, you know, which is about self-compassion and how we need to develop this quality. So compassion for the self and compassion for others is at the base, at the foundation of these five tenets really of dharma or right action or righteousness or duty, the different words that we can use for it. And dharma also um, is used for the, for the word religion, but religion really means what you need to do. It's not exactly the way we see religion, but it's more about the right action really. So it, uh, the, these five tenets would be looking at five aspects of our being, which is the mind, the intellect, the heart, um, the body, and the soul. So what does what do these five aspects of us of ours require? So what does the mind require? The mind requires peace and calm. So the word that is in Hindi is dhairya and patience, really. So that is what the mind needs. So how do we practice dharma? If we do these five things, we will be able to practice dharma. So the, for the mind, we need to give it patience and calmness and stability. For the intellect, second thing is intellect. For the intellect, we need to give it knowledge. So we need to understand how this universe functions, you know, get some knowledge about it and enlighten our intellect with knowledge. Not information, but really knowledge. So the difference between information and knowledge is that when, when you start applying the information to yourself uh, in a practical way, that is what becomes knowledge. Then you get the knowledge and that's how the intellect will be able to develop that knowledge and become wiser. So the wisdom aspect also comes in. At the third level is the heart. And what does the heart require? Love. Love for, again, oneself and others. So love for everybody. And so this is these are the three things that we have and then we have for the body. So what does the body require? So body, they say we need to have samarpan, which is a sense of devotion towards, uh, you know, whatever we are doing, the right path. So at samarpan, that sense of complete uh, giving ourselves into a particular, uh, our duties and the right actions and deeds that we need to do. So the word is samarpan really. And for the, the last thing is for the soul, the soul requires to be have to have justice, nyai. So these are the five tenets of um, in Hindi. I would say it's gyan, it's dhairya, it's prem, and samarpan, and nyai. So basically, it translates to you know, the mind needs um, the mind needs dhairya, which is patience. The intellect needs knowledge. The heart needs love. And uh, we feed these things to different aspects of your being. And the body needs devotion, samarpan, and the soul needs justice. 
So when we are able to follow these five tenets or these five paths laid out, we are we can be on the path of dharma, which is on the righteous path and be able to do the right action and guide ourselves, guide our being in the right way and feed the right thing to different aspects of our being. So this is just a little tidbit from the Geet, from the Bhagavad Geet and uh, hope this is helpful to you. Thank you so much for listening. Bye-bye.